My name is Dr. Garcia and I'm an instructor here in the biotechnology program at NC State University and today I'm going to be telling you about how to turn on um, and turn off the biosafety cabinets that we have um, for tissue culture work. So the first thing that we need to do before we actually can start working in our tissue culture hoods is to put on our personal protective equipment or our PPE. So first we're going to put on our lab coats and here in the bit department we use disposable um, lab coats. Do all of our buttons. I'm going to put on safety glasses and I'm also going to put on a pair of gloves. So the reason that we're using these biosafety cabinets is because the cultures that we're going to be using um, need to be sterile. And so in order to maintain sterility, we actually need to sterilize our hood first. So the first thing that we're going to do um, in order to turn on the hood is actually to turn on our UV light. And we're going to expose our hood and the hood surfaces to our UV light for about 10 minutes. So once those 10 minutes have passed, um, we're going to turn on the blower, the electricity, and the light. And that automatically turns off the UV light. So once you've opened the sash, um, first thing you want to do is actually make sure that you haven't opened the sash too high. Um, so actually there's uh, an alarm on the hood that will tell you if you've raised it too high. Um, the optimal height is going to be about 8 inches and this hood is really useful because it actually has a little guide on the side that tells you where the optimal height is. So you can see if we lift the sash higher and we wait a couple of seconds that our hood has started beeping at us and it's telling us that um, our sash level is too high. So all we need to do to fix it is just to lower the sash a little bit. I'm um, again looking at the guide um, to tell us where the optimal sash height is going to be. So once we've opened our hood and we've got our sash at the right height, we're, we need to spray down the surface of the hood on the inside with ethanol. So here we're using 70% ethanol in order to sterilize the surface of the hood as well as any objects that we're going to bring into the hood. So I'm going to spray down the hood um, and be very liberal and very generous with the amount of ethanol that I'm using. Next, I'm going to wipe down the hood and wipe down all of the ethanol with a paper towel. wipe down all of the ethanol, our hood is ready to use for our tissue culture cells. So now we're ready to turn off our hood. One of the things that we need to do is actually to make sure that our waste containers are not too full and that there's enough bleach for the next person to use the hood. So there's definitely enough bleach for the next person. So for our waste containers, we want to make sure that they're no more than two-thirds of the way full. So this is not two-thirds of the way full. So if you find that your waste container, um, particularly the liquid waste container, is two-thirds of the way full, then consult your instructor as to what to do next. So now that we've checked our waste, we're ready to, to clean the surface of our hood um, in order to close it. So in order to clean the surface of the hood, the first thing we're going to do is spray the surface of the hood with a microbicidal agent. So this is our microbicidal agent. Next I'm going to spray down the hood with 70% ethanol. Now that we've 
wipe down the surface of the hood with our microbicidal agent and our ethanol. We're ready to close everything down and turn everything off. So first we're gonna turn off all the lights, the electricity and the blower, and then we're, we can close the sash. And now we're done. Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's awesome.